Hello everybody, I'm Elio, and let us continue playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And to start off, I'm just gonna correct my screw up, my forgetting of a star piece last time. And fixed. Now it's the Twilight Town Pipe. And of course, you all know what time it is. With more feeling this time, it's whooping time! Chapter 4 For Pigs the Bell Tolls As you can see the, by the dreary surroundings. Yeah, this chapter can be kind of dreary at points, especially the beginning, but... It, it's a pretty cool chapter, I kind of like it. It's got a pretty cool antagonist as well. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. No, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You come from far away? Yeah, those clothes are yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. It's kind of a scary tale to hear. It's scary to tell, too. Oh no, the bell rang again! Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oink, oink, oink. Whoa, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen! What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy's got turned into a pig. Not good. Who are you, Gramps? Respect your elders. I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dor. Not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for telling tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. It's most obvious with the mayor's design that they kind of got stuffing inside them, the Twilighters. So, I guess it's like they're toys, I'm not entirely sure, but it's kind of interesting design, I guess. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, but it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the Twilighters living here in this village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I cannot sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. Good point. If this keeps up well, the village may be one giant pig man, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you too get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a, a star-shaped rock called Crystal Star. Uh, I don't know about the Crystal Star thing, but in the creepy steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, you serious? That's gotta be the Crystal Star. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to creepy steeple, are you? Brr, unthinkable. Well, what have we got ourselves into this time? Well, see if we're gonna help the town's problems again. So, star piece behind that building there. Hey, much like chapter one, the town is being terrorized by some villain, and we've got to help out. Is this one? Yep, it's this one. And that star piece behind a bush. In an in a uh, save block, should you need it. Which, of course, I don't, unless I want to stop the video five minutes in. Let's go inside this house here. Oh, it's a nice little family. I haven't been able to buy more food for my children since my husband was turned into a pig. Now they're all so hungry, what should I do? Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. Oh, kind traveler. Do you, can you spare some food? Oh, of course. 
And I don't want to give up a Super Shroom. Well, I could give him a Honey Syrup, but I don't have anything else, so I have P Restore, so I have the Super Shroom. Thank you so much, you made me very happy, and my children. It's not much, but please take this. A shooting Star! Not a bad reward! Oh, one kind traveler, where do you hail? Uh oh. No! Ah! No, that mama got turned into a pig! This has to stop! And behind this barrel here, another crystal star. Oh, we I hear and see sniffing in the shop here, which has nothing in it. Hmm. Oh, the pig's wandering around. Sniff a customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Sniff. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband got turned into a pig. A pig. My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs, but no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig! I got into a fight before he left, and I called him a chauvinous pig. Now, it really is a pig, but he has a sweet side, too, like, like a... Uh, I'm not doing this, by the way. This ha just happens, and it skips through the test text really fast. Feel free to pause if you want to read it, but I can't. Yeah. So, um, are you even listening? Oh. <laughs> hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take anything from the story room that might help, you know? Which is locked right now, so that's not a lot of good. So, and uh, anything else of interest? There's a lot of crows around town on these trees, which I actually really like. They're, they're just sort of silhouettes, they're not even particularly crows, they're just there. Silhouettes of crows, I guess. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious, that's what somebody said. If you want, still want to go through after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster behind the town of Gate Fling? Isn't that kind of cliched? You gotta be kidding me. That's fine, let's ask. Well, this guy's swine already. He doesn't need to be turned into a pig. But um, Okay, let's go ask the mayor for permission. Oh. Whoa, well, Mario, the bell rang! Yeah, another time that Yoshi lets Mario slip. Doesn't that mean that someone's gotta. Boy, at the same time, it wasn't. It was my turn to get to pigified. Hmm, three pigs together. I wonder who they are. If it's not obvious, don't worry, we'll find out later. So, time to ask the permit pair's permission. Um, well, that's not good. Whoa, that ain't good. You think this pig is the mayor? What are we gonna do now? We're gonna need that dude's permission to get past the gate. Yep. I like all the pigs, by the way. The papery 3D again. Gotta love Paper 3D. Awful lot of it in P Super Paper Mario, the sequel. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, the gay guy's gone. Nope, not gone. That stubborn dude's a pig. Well, it's actually pretty sweet for us. Nothing's gonna get in our way. Indeed it won't, so. Let's go right on ahead to the steeple pathway. In the little cabin here. A black key. Hmm, I wonder what that's going to be for. He says in his most sarcastic voice. And on this pathway here, we're going to be meeting new enemies. And they're green, so guess what? They're hyper enemies, and they're going to be charging and boosting their attack like crazy. Not fun. Whoa. And... Let's get Bella out here so I can cut off. So, Hyper Goombas, if I remember they have, uh, yeah, each HP and attack is 2, no, no defense of course, but when they charge up their attack will be 8 next turn. As they shall demonstrate. This isn't good. And they're all charging. They're all a charge and their head bonks. And if all three of those hit you then that's no good because that's the equivalent of an instant death. So I'm going to kill one of them quickly. Boom. And so what kind of experience are they giving? Okay, the normal ones are giving you two star points. The normal hyper goodness. Giving you two star points. So oh! Uh-oh. Oh, lucky! Nice! And... Ha-ha! Charging is no good when I can super guard you. Um... So what? You head bonk... No, actually. You can hammer the front guy. 
and Goombella can power bounce the bad guy. Yay! Oh, yeah. By the way, that band just said I'd get less time. Uh, the power jump, I actually did get it off screen, and it's basically like um, the power smash hammer move, except in a jump. Uh, I would show it here, but it's kind of wasting MP. So let's just get this battle over with. Kill this last Goomba. Oh. Yeah, double star points, so I guess I can't argue with that. Oh, game, you do love showing off, but I'm afraid you waste times and times. Like now. Hurry up. Yeah, at least I have 75 star points now, not too far from a level up. I like. So. Do I remember? No. Hitting these blocks, by the way, does nothing. In case you were wondering. A coin? That's no good. Oh, and a super stream invisible on top of it. So that kind of paid it back, I guess. That when I gave one up earlier. Yeah, I don't need another earthquake, I don't think. Ha! Uh, no. Aha! There we go. Got the first track on one of these fools. Oh, jeez, you have a boost sheet. That's no good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna kill you first. But not before Goombella gets up front and get tattling. Just so we can get the flying version out of the way. Yeah, just the same, but with wings. So I'm just gonna beat these guys to get the experience. Oh, nice! Triple Shine Sprite Bingo gives you everything back, including star power, and fills up your audience. Not too shabby. And another easy schmeezy battle out of the way. Now, if you just excuse me, I'm just gonna wonder what badges I've got and what I can give up because I want that multi bounce back. Uh, sad. Uh, I'm guess I'm gonna have to give that up and multi bounce, and I'll keep one free just in case. Oh, can I keep that? No, I can't. Okay. Bye, earthquake. And of course, one last Goomba to deal with. One last different type of type of Goomba. Oh, why do you have to have boo sheets? I hate you at the back. Yes, you. You hear me? Yes, you do. Of course you do. Anyways, it's just that less spiny version. Yeah, it's basically just the normal version of the Hyper Goomba, but with a spike on its head, so obviously you don't want to jump on it. But of course, it's got one more attack point, so... It's going to do 9 damage with its charged attacks, which, again, not particularly good. And why did I do the power smash? That's just wasting a P. Great move there. I'll see you after this is over with. Oh, uh, though it's good to know that uh, they're giving you... Oh, nice. I got electrified by that. Yeah, that happens sometimes. And of course you're using the booty. So yeah, three star points, uh, the spiny ones are giving you, so... Very nice. So close to level up, now I can taste it. Okay, oh, oh. On and on, hop, block, hole, coin block. Nice, 66 coins. Hey, the magic number. Oh, hello, piggy. Herrink. Oh, what's that back there? A key. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. Let's go get that. And shop key. Uh, but we can't get past this trunk right now, so I guess we have nothing but to do but to go back and unlock that shop door. Oh, I'm gonna say on the way back. Uh, I am recording this New Year's Eve, which I guess is kind of fitting that with a whole Twilight theme, I guess. But yeah. Also Christmas. Uh, if uh, speaking of fitting things, I wish I was doing Christmas at. Um, I was in Chapter 7 at Christmas, and those of you who know what Chapter 7 is and what it entails, then you'd know why. So yeah, fitting themes. For Christmas, by the way, I haven't mentioned, actually. Ooh, a lot of goodies back here. But they're no good if I can't have room for them. I don't need a dizzy dial. Uh, I said I don't need the dizzy dial. Thank you. Okay, so, <laughs> screw the Christmas thing, I'll tell it another time. But Defend Plus, always nice. Uh, it's a lot of badge points for it, but... It'll increase your defense by one, so always nice. 
Hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. Oh, boy. There's no way that people could be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. Oh, gee whiz. What's that you say? You've been seeing a chest like this before? Get out of here! No, no, I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not, seriously. Just get, let me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on. You know that, how ridiculous that is. I'm laughing in here. <laughs> you want to something I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? I mean, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a, well, a really wonderful new ability will allow you to go special places. He's actually telling the truth. <gasps> Doesn't that sound nice? Of course it does. Come on, please, just find the key and open the chest, okay? Because I'm in here. All alone. Pretty, pretty, please. Heart. Would have thought you'd hear a heart from a black chest. Oh, happy days. Whee! Fools! Uh, of course. Bloop. What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm gonna hit you with the king of the curses. The cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You know the pain of having your body roll up. Be cursed! Ah, Caesar. <laughs> your curse, like a save your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't be able to walk. That's how awful it is. <laughs> your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. I'll show you how curse me or curse plight so I can laugh at you all the more. That's called R. Rotate the control stick repeatedly. And we roll up into a tube. <laughs> the pathetic misery frills me to the core. You must roll around in a silly copper tube. Oh, how to be laughed at. You understand the death of your agony? Yes, I understand. It's terrible. <laughs> Press B to return to normal. Don't forget, mush brain. I'll leave you to suffer. <laughs> Okay. So, I'm gonna doubt. So yeah, the Christmas thing. I didn't actually talk about Christmas, um, but uh, my Christmas gifts, that is. But wow, uh, um, most outstanding. That was what I was gonna say as an Xbox 360. And on that awesome note, I'll leave you here. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time.